Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, 05 April, non-farm payroll day. A little bit late this morning. Uh, we had some fresh snow last night, so we went for a little morning ski here. Uh, one of my favorite things to do. Thermos of Italian coffee, some uh, morning ski touring, and then uh, some French pastries upon return. Doesn't get much better than that. So puts me in a good mood. Um, here we are. Let's uh, let's have a look at what's going to happen today. Let's look at it. let's look at this ES chart. Uh, mainly, let's just look at this because we had some uh, internal bets going on yesterday uh, between our our uh, geek friend Volatility Quant, who's a bit of a ledge with what he shares, um, and also. Rusty Bullet Hole, who uh, seems to be a London stud. Uh, they took the 2890s. I took the 2870s. Uh, we expired this thing at the close. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. We did close up near the highs, 2885. Um, we have printed a high of 88 and a quarter. So they'll get the benefit of the doubt, even though, even though I think uh, at expiry the bet went unpaid. We squared our shorts down at 74 yesterday, went home square. We will be selling again today. Um, we think the high is going to be around 98. So between 98 and 08, we're sellers. Um, we think this is full valuation. We talked about it. Uh, if you're thinking about um, EPS at, at, uh, at one, between 181 and 183, 16 times earnings is 2,900. Um, plus, we've been up now sort of 15% in a straight line or 14% in a straight line. Um, so we're looking, for, we're looking for turns. We're selling high ones at the moment because we recognize that um, we're in a bullish phase right now. Um, German industrial production just came out February plus 7 versus estimated. Zero 05. I guess it beat a little bit. So Euro's a tiny bit higher here. This pre farm nonsense, no one really cares. So Euro went from 26 to 32. Yahoo. Uh, Euro's a little bit higher on, on better, better uh, German numbers there. Um, anyway, back to, um, back to ES. We're selling ES 9808 today. Uh, and we're waiting for some sort of confirmation of downside action, which we are definitely not getting. Um, but it's okay. We can still make money tactically on the short side um, without too much too much risk. I mean, yesterday we pinged the highs at 86, went down to 71. Today, hopefully, we'll be selling between this 98 and 08 level uh, again. Uh, we'll be trading buying back long is getting a good average on the short you know trying to just try and muscle 10 or 15 handles um, of profit in the tactical book let's take a look at what's going on I haven't even seen the news flow um, but let me just go straight to the charts Urien looks like it's gonna make a new high here should be some risk now above 50. We like fading this, like we talked yesterday, in the 75-80 area. We think this uh, warm, fuzzy, um, everything's fine uh, mentality right now is a little bit overdone. You see Boons are down at 165.20, so this should lead to, um, this is probably actually a break trade, 125.50. But... Um, Pre non farms, we don't even we won't fool around with this kind of stuff. Anyway, Euro Yen looks like it's going to float higher. We will take um, the short side of this trade between 125.70 and 125.90, um, and let's go back to our friends Aussie and Kiwi. Kiwi's not bouncing. This looks very offered. Uh, we got up to 63, which was not high enough to get us paid. We left offers last night. Um, at 78 and 88 this looks like it's going to probably get through 40 today if we get a good US number 
Um, Kiwi looks bad. Aussie looks less bad because of this, uh, you know, potential trade news. But we do like Aussie lower as well. Right now, it looks like we're going to take out these little intraday stops above 71.30. But selling high ones in Aussie makes sense to us. Um, we think this good news in trade is, is priced in. And we think this risk on move is, is getting near the end, um, near the last stop on this risk on train. So today, I don't know, we'll probably be selling Aussie between 7140 and 7150 in the tactical book. Um, stops probably above 70. We'll have to see where things are as we get closer to non farms. But the, you can see we have these similar themes. We like short Aussie, we like short Kiwi, we're selling high ones in stocks. Let's have a quick look at crude. Um, crude has a 90% correlation with NASDAQ uh, the last 30 days. Something to note for you correlation traders. Struggling up here crude. Look at this. Uh, this guy's struggling a bit. I'm definitely not calling the turn, but this is basically an equity trade here. Kind of a doji star, lower highs, lower lows. We need to get through this 200-day moving average to have any kind of downside leverage. But we're watching this crude um, to help us time a more sizable equity short. Um, as you all know, I mean, we're, we're structurally short. We have options uh, expiring in June um, that have been paid for but we're looking to get short contracts up here towards the highs and if we do this correctly it'll give us loads of ammo um, as we're going down so tricky never easy this but crude looks kind of quiet but might have turned I'm talking a lot this morning because I guess I'm in a good mood from the skiing but there's not much to say really I mean um, Things are pretty uneventful. We're waiting for basically some macro news to come out. If we're honest, the next real big macro news, certainly in the S&Ps, will be the earnings season, which kicks off um, next Friday. That'll be quite interesting. The banks are all going to do their earnings and whatnot. Uh, and for FX, gosh, I don't even know. <sighs> Looks just kind of dead still. I mean, uh, we've got Brexit and we've got this trade deal that needs to get out of the way. Um, but in the meantime, it looks just pretty quiet and you got to, you know, either be stepping aside and just watching, which is the super patient way of doing it, or just taking very small day-to-day uh, -day risk. You can't really sink your teeth into anything here in FX because it's just basically dead. Let's look at Euro here. Euro is basically dead. 112.34 means absolutely nothing. Um, I guess you could say it's constructive above 56, but there'll be sellers up at 70. You know, we're looking at these very dull 30-point ranges. So there's not a lot to get excited about in FX. Um, so keep it light. Keep your sanity and be patient. I'll check in on Twitter as we get closer to um, the non-farm release time. I believe we have Canadian employment today, so Dollar Cad will have a little bit of an extra kick. Uh, we will sink our teeth into that once I know where price is um, around 1 p.m. Swiss time. Wish everybody profitable day, and I will talk to you all on Monday. Ciao.